What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I like to overdraw my lips because I have really small and uneven lips. So I like to overdraw them sometimes when I'm doing like a more glam makeup. So that is what I'm going to show you guys today. So I'm starting off by moisturizing my lips and I'm using the Sephora Nourishing Lip Balm and you can use any lip balm you have. I'm just going to put that all over my lips and then I just like massage it in and let that um, sink in. Then I'm going to go in and use a lip liner and it doesn't really matter what color you're doing if you're doing a super bright lip. So I'm just using a natural nudie beige lip color and this uh, lip liner and this one is from NYX. And I'm just going to start to overdraw my lips right on that edge, right on that little ridge. Um, just above my natural lip line and that's gonna be a super good guide for when you're applying the lip color because then it'll stay in place and you'll have sort of like an outline to follow when you go in with that super dark lip color so I'm just gonna go around my lips and you could see that my lips kind of um, on the very sides right up before the corners it kind of dips down and um, it looks like I don't have any lip there because it just dips down dips down into the inside of my mouth um, so I like to put that liner on that edge and make it look like I have you know a fuller upper lip um, for my bottom lip I don't really like to overdraw it that much um, I don't even think I do too much with it here just because my bottom lip is okay and it's pretty even um, so it doesn't it doesn't need that extra love and attention that that my upper lip needs so that's just what I'm doing. So I'm going to be using this Revlon Color Burst Matte Lip Balm. And this is like a super pretty red color. Um, and I'll have the actual name in the description so you can check that out. But I really like these matte balms by Revlon. They're super creamy and soft and make your lips feel really nice. So I'm just going in right out of that little tube and I'm just going to apply it. And get it as close to that line and it's a lot easier on the bottom lip so I like to go right up to the edge on that bottom lip with um, with the lip color out of the tube and um, so I just like to apply that all over and um, I'm just filling that in and making it nice and dark and then I'm gonna go into the upper lip and I'm gonna start um, outlining right where I put that lip liner and you could see that ridge that kind of um, sticks out. You could really see it with the lip color on there. Um, so that's where I'm applying the lip color. I'm not going crazy above my lip line because it's super obvious. Um, and on me, it's, it's obvious either way just because I have that um, more pronounced ridge. But um, just going a little tiny bit onto that ridge really makes a difference and makes your lips look a lot um, plumper. And that's what I am going for here. Then I'm just going to take a clean eyeliner brush and this one is from Sigma. You can use any small little brush and I haven't uh, put any product on the on the brush. I'm just using what's already on my lips and I'm really just going to go right around those edges make them nice and smooth and make them look as perfect as possible and make my lips look even. So you can see this side I really have to overdraw quite a bit just because I don't have a lot of lip in that corner and then I'm just making sure everything is nice and even um, this did take a little while but um, I don't mind the whole process because it really looks nice um, once I am done so once I have it um, as good as it's gonna get I'm gonna go ahead and clean up those um, those very outer corners just because I don't like um, that like blobby look on the very edges of my lips so this is the final look and if you use a matte, a completely matte lip color, it definitely looks a lot better because then you won't see um, the highlight from the ridges. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!